Hello, welcome to episode 8 of Artswarm. Artswarm is a video program and audio program for artists where we showcase brand new videos made for the program each week. Everything is strange, creative, artistic, and it's new. It's things you haven't seen before. Now each week we set a theme and this fortnight's theme is fairies. Now what do fairies mean to you? They are a magical race, historically perhaps magical creatures who controlled our lives in unexpected ways. And we're going to begin with a piece by Deborah Edgeley. This is a jigsaw poem. It combines two works by two different people, including Albert Camus and a book on philosophy in an exploration and trying to it's trying to understand the world and explore it and it uses the metaphor of bubbles and bubbles graffiti graffiti made from bubbles as a form of writing that disappears that explodes that's gone as soon as you understand it this is called A new kind of order emerges in Bubble Town. I was too upset to notice much, so the fairy told me to believe in bubbles. Bubbles which swallow frustrations. Magically he knew the rearranged district well. We walked steadily on. How long had they known me? I never had a moment's boredom. Were you exhausted when you reached the top rung? Write it in bubbles on the floor, he said. I was asked to give certain particulars. I faced each bubble clearly. It was mesmerising how our movements matched. I saw his soul in the kaleidoscope bubble. Things which were valued in one phase ceased to be valued in another. Words burst in Bubble Town. Where dips the rocky highland of Sleuthwood in the lake, there lies a leafy island where something else breaks. Yes, they're nearly the first two lines of a poem called The Stolen Child, written in the late 19th century by W.B. Yeats. And that and the fairy implications are the essential premise of our next piece by Andrew Williams, which uses Yeats' poem, or the first verse, or the first few verses, and some interesting fairy music, mysterious, jangly, and combines this with the video of a wandering through the English woods. Where dips the rocky highland of Sleuthwood in the lake? There lies a leafy island where flapping herons wake the drowsy water rats. There we feed our fairy bats full of berries and of reddish stolen cherries. A human child to the waters and the wild with a fairy hand in hand 
for the world's more full of bleeding than you can understand. human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy, hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. For my piece on fairies, I scripted a stream of consciousness poem, but I also added sounds, I added video, and so it, it made for an unusual way of creation, which I rather enjoyed. I think the heat wave which is going on in Britain at the moment slightly influenced my ideas, perhaps. It's called The Fire Fairy. I am the Fire Fairy. I will make you burn. If you go down to the woods today, 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 if you go down to the woods today. If you go down to the woods today, 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 I will sneak into your soul through the hole in your dreams, through your ear. Let the dance begin! Fairies, they may be magical, they may be mythical, or in some cases they may be actually real. Stephen Goodwin explores one real aspect of fairies. There they are, dancing lights, visions only peripheral. 
Lights sharply stab the eyes, continuing their dance, dizzying this tired soul. Thoughts numb, fizzled, fried and forgetful, lead me to darkness, where the fairies dance on. Then while blinded, they strike, stabbing behind my eye, sharply into my brain, with their little jabbing needles, each sharper than the last. And next we have a sound piece by Lavinia Murray. Um, this features an image of comb-toothed wolves as well. They don't howl at the moon, they hum at it through paper. And now a silent short film by, of a painting by Janie Jones. Now on our fairy journey we have a second piece by Andrew Williams. This is entitled Fair Enough and it's a, essentially a poem and it's spoken in a very strange metallic voice that will take quite a lot of concentration to understand. end our fairy show with a final animation by Lavinia Murray. This one was inspired a bit by the Cottingley Fairies which in 1917 f 
stunned the world, pictures of fairies that were superimposed on a background. And here the Cottingley fairies have invaded the womb. You'll see many strange things in this video. You'll see a fairy that jumps, or a girl that jumps from one end side of a tree to the other side of a tree, which will take a lot of noticing. There's also a girl with a uh, hook hand, and her other hand is grasping the moon on a stick rather than some stars. There are a lot of embryonic references as well. I hope you enjoy this rather fantastic animation. <laughs> And that's it for episode 8 of Artswarm. If you'd like to connect with Artswarm, you can do so on Twitter at Artswarm TV, or you can go to the web page on my website, markshiki.com slash artswarm.php to see how you could create and submit things for our program. Our next Artswarm has a theme of rocks, so if you've got something on the theme of rocks which you'd like to create, then do so and send it in. In the meantime, I will join you in two weeks' time for Rocks. Music